Make it a 15 point game. Oh, and he misses that one. After making a 56 yarder. A 50. But it did cost Tulane two minutes at about 10 yards of field position. Pratt wide open is James the tight end again. And it's a first down. Pick and go. They do have all their timeouts. Pratt again to the air over the middle behind the receiver but caught by Wyatt another first down the clock will stop. Pratt off play action got a man it's caught inside the 20 yard line down inside the 10 is tolls and it'll be first and goal. This game originally was at Yulman Stadium on campus. Pratt from the pocket throws complete. Upended at the one into the end zone is Wallace. Touchdown Tulane. The green wave ain't done yet. For the onside kick. Let's see what they do. And it's touched initially by Oklahoma, but then three Tulane players jump in there, led by Larry Brooks, and Tulane's got the ball. Wow. They recover the onside kick at the 48-yard line. Pressure coming off the edge. Pratt is hit, and he's sacked. Dragged down by Nick Benito. Fourth down. Played Spencer Rattler. Does he have one more magic trick in his bag here in fourth down? Flushed out of the pocket, being chased. Got to get rid of it. He breaks a tackle, dives. We'll see where they spot it. He's short. They mark him short by a yard. Pratt lost his helmet, too. There was a hit, it looked like, after he was down. Question, let's look at the spot here. Good pursuit from the backside, and you see Michael Pratt giving everything he has, but well short. Let's see what Oklahoma does. They just keep it on the ground here, and Brooks with running room across midfield, and a huge play on first down. Brooks gets the carry, gets the first down inside the 40-yard line. This is going to be clearly a tape that Lincoln Riley, Alex Grinch, all these coaches on this staff use as a teaching tool and a way to get better. Because after watching this today, Oklahoma not clearly where they need to be. 